coming up in this week's episode. Check this place behind us. Camping, clothing, fishing, boating, caravan accessories, bakery and fresh meat. Holy <laughs> moly. Cape York to York Peninsula. Look at that, it's like a big boot. It's the, um, the Italy, the Sicily of <laughs> Australia. We love it here. Okay, where do you get this map? That's the first thing. Yeah, where did you get this map? It's free. It's actually yeah. free at a lot of the visitor information centres, uh, which is good if you need to know where they are. They're all listed here on the map, but you can't find them without the map so anyway interesting i just picked this find one them on wiki camps at the edith berg news agent and delicatessen pizzeria fish shop hardware store petrol station i mean it's it's an all-in-one one-stop shop i love these little villages that <laughs> you know just bundle everything into i mean it makes it really easy for yeah. where you need to go to do all of your stuff it's fantastic mm. and even to the point where one of our neighbors chris he had busted a hinge on his toolbox and I said mate they've probably got one down there at the delicatessen news agents hardware store fish and chip pizzeria so I went down there and sure mm -hmm. enough they did they did yeah they did look it actually it was just slightly a mill out oh. but but that they even had a hin hinge like, I mean it's, it's crazy there's board awesome. games there there's um, <laughs> kids activities I mean it's really cool it's great and their pizzas are very good we can vouch for them yeah that's a hot mm. tip now that's in edithburg yes which is down the me, i guess the lower show you part the of the york down here somewhere where are we ba -ba -ba -ba. somewhere somewhere i can't find us down here here we are down here if Easy. you can see that it's on the southeast coast right down the very bottom of the boot the heel if you're picturing a foot yes look we have had pretty mixed bag of weather mm -hmm. uh, which has kept us inside the van for about four days and now the sun is shining and <sighs> Murphy's Law it's the day we're leaving we've literally just yeah. pulled out of our spot over there at the Edithburg Caravan Park yeah, what a, an awesome park a great little yeah. spot and beautiful operators there looking after the park Sarah and Damien and just really welcoming everybody's been so friendly Tracy yep. on reception just awesome I mean the perfect waterfront spot. Look at this backdrop. I mean, the only reason the windows aren't open is because it's a pretty solid onshore wind at the moment. So, yeah. Uh, but otherwise, you know, we'd stick the camera out the window. I'll get the drone up so you can see it because it's. It, it is, is a picture perfect so day. So beautiful. Yeah. yeah. The winds mm. have been uh, unusually high, I think, and then we had those those consistent days of just crazy rain and wind, which is really unseasonal, but. A beautiful location to be in that sort yeah. of weather as well you know looking out on the ocean and it was all gray and mysterious and i love it i tell you what there's plenty of spots to fish here as well we didn't do that but we did go crabbing yes. which was awesome but we'll First. we won't spoil that that's actually coming up in our channel 7 series that, that was, was awesome an amazing experience catch and cook this york peninsula we were tipped off a few weeks ago before coming here that this really is like the South Australian locals place to come. This is where they all come for their holidays and yep. have done, you know, year after year. I think it, it has been a family tradition location, a bit of a best kept secret mm. for a very long time. Mm. And of course now it's, um, it is certainly building popularity and all you, you have to do is drive down any of these coastal towns and you'll very quickly see how popular these places are becoming. Yep. Whether well, it's on the West coast or the East coast, all of these little towns are just, absolute gems yeah and what i love is that it still feels really country yeah you know like you're driving through this beautiful mm. agricultural land and yeah. then there's this epic coastline that's just like right there so it's <laughs> this really beautiful blend of of country charm and small village so tassie yes yeah. in fact the mornings have tasmania been, that is yes have been really cool and it's just felt like we are back in Tassie, which yeah. we absolutely love, of course. Um, so really, really beautiful. Lovely people, small country towns with that just, yeah, really charm yeah. and friendly, welcoming. And all these drives are amazingly scenic. Like they're, it's along the coast, so it's 
It's yeah. rugged in some places. It's just calm and pristine bays in others. The beaches, wow. They truly are wow, absolutely. Mm. And the beach camping, which, you know, you've seen there over in Wuralti. Uh, I'm struggling with that still, pronouncing that. Maybe you should do that. Maybe Getting better. Is sensational, out of this world. And then they've got some really cool points of interest. Uh, we're going to stop at one on the way back now uh, as we head back towards Adelaide, mm -hmm. and it's the Red Devil. Yes, the story of Harry Butler, very famous down here in South Australia. It sounds like an old, like, big old kid's story novel, doesn't it? Harry Butler, the Red Devil. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so yeah, so we'll, we'll share a little bit about him as okay. well. But there is so much to see. The national parks mm. are outstanding. And yeah, as we said, the fishing, seafood, if you if you love your seafood, then, yep. you know, you, the coastal way yep. drive is, is the one for you. There's 700 kilometres of coastline along here. And then 500 of it, you can walk. I love this. This is so <laughs> unique. Awesome. You know, I don't think we've ever been anywhere like to a region where you can basically walk around the entire Coastline. region and so mm. they have a trail it's called the walk the york very clever whoever came up with that and it is <laughs> literally just over 500 kilometers from one side of the york all the way around the boot back up to the other and obviously yeah. you don't have to do the whole 500 if you're not feeling fit or up to it but you can hop on and off the trail and it follows the coastline so as far as a scenic experience goes you know whether you're doing the family friendly yeah. shore walks with the little ones or you can cycle it as it, well it, that's it it looks like it's accessible for every level of fitness as well exactly and there's different really cool. there's different kind of sections you know some mm. you get down on the beach and you're walking on the sand and then there's yeah. others that are you know the beautiful pathways along the coastline so very very cool initiative i think to uh, get people yeah. out and active we did a little bit of it over near Point we did 500 Turton. meters. <laughs> so, yeah, we didn't really scratch the surface, but Point Turton. Yeah. Wow. We're going to go back there. So stay tuned for that. Mm. I think we're going to wrap up now. But again, grab yourself this free map. It is awesome. I love holding a map. It's great for Jasper too to really grasp the geography of it and know where we're going. Yeah. And it shows the kilometers between point A to B across the whole map and points of interest. It's excellent. Yeah, and what's so great about good. this location, it's only a few hours from Adelaide as well. So Crazy. it's just so accessible. Yeah. Two and a half hours drive back for us. What well, you know I mean that's yeah. a short awesome. short drive day. Love it. it. All right. Let's wrap it up. You ready to go, mate? Yeah. Yes. There he is. Look he's all wrapped up. He's just hanging there out. There you go. Good boy. Wait look for at us. That like, it's so stunning out there today. With over 700 kilometres of coastline, York Peninsula is known for its coast, beaches and that spectacular scenery. You can experience all of this and more on the coastal way. It's a self-drive trail exploring the region. York Peninsula is ideal for discovering and exploring at your own pace. You can follow one of the self-drive itineraries in the visitor guide, you can plot your own road trip or, like us, choose your own adventure by following any Road. How good is that? Where are we? Yorktown. Yorktown, that's right. How good is this? Check this place behind us. Camping, clothing, fishing, boating, caravan accessories, bakery and fresh meat. Holy moly. <laughs> it's well, also very, very, very sunny. It's very sunny, yeah, here. Yeah. yeah. I should have got you some sunglasses. Sorry, mate. Yeah, you can wear these. Oh, thank you. The only thing this place is missing is a uh, a bottle and a post office. Mm. Then they'd have everything. But it's uh, it's a great shop. And Yorktown is a very cool little town. It's only 15 minutes from Edin Edithburg. Edithburg. I was about to say Edinburgh. It's nowhere near Edinburgh. So if you're in Edinburgh, it's nowhere near that. Edithburg. Edithburg. <laughs> We're about to head back to Katie. We're giving her a little break. So we just came out for. a Bit of a sticky beat, walk around town. Hmm? Picked up some squid jigs. Yep. We're gonna give squidding a go. <laughs> You've been pretty good with all your other fishing, mate. We yeah. should be should be pretty good with squidding too, yeah. I reckon. They are they are a top catch because they're like Oh blue. they are, are they? Alright. <laughs> Little angler next to me. Alright, we'll get going, head back to mum, go out fishing, should be pretty cool. Okay. Alright, let's do it.
mentioned it already, it's King George Whiting. And sometimes, even better than catching your own fish, is when somebody generously gives you their fish. Yes. Isn't it? Ronnie, you are a legend, mate. And Annie, it was so lovely to meet you both. And not only did you give me the fish, but you gave us a bit of an idea on how to actually prepare and cook it. So we're going to give it a, a go, and the results will obviously follow. And well, we'll either, our tummies. We'll either nail it, or it, it, it'll be uh, an absolute tragedy. But I think we'll be right. So what we've got is the King George Whiting, mm. just caught straight out here in the front of Edith Bird. Yep. We've got a Japanese-style tempura, which was your recommendation from your mate. Mm. And... Your secret recipe was to add in the Keens curry. Okay, a little bit of curry powder. So, what awesome. do you think, Katie? Can't go wrong with that, I don't think. No. I'm just doing what the packet I'm going to go get my part ready, which is literally just oh. putting the power on. You're right, you're going to be right with that. <laughs> we have had three and a half days of horrible weather. Let's be honest, okay? It hasn't been that great. There you go. Got the induction ready. But check this out now, it is picture perfect. Wow. Look at that. There's hardly anyone here. Amazing. This is the calm before the storm as far as the tourism and uh, I guess even the locals uh, real peak season goes into Chrissy there, so it is about to get incredibly busy here. So we're we're loving this beautiful weather that's finally arrived, and there's the induction. I'll get that sorted. Bit of rice bran oil, bit of Aveeno. <laughs> Look out! Here we go. Hi. Oh, hey, Jasper. <laughs> I'm doing some Christmas stuff and a surprise. Mm. A secret show. Love it. Let me come <laughs> Hopefully that's not too much. That was very close camera. Look at that. I reckon you nailed it, Katie. It smells good. Yeah, it smells so good. Okay, so some non-curry ones for Jasper, just in case. Cool fact you learnt the other day is that your taste buds only survive, live for 10 days and then they die and a new one comes along. <laughs> so, try convincing your seven year old that in 10 days time he's going to like the stuff that he didn't like a few days ago. I can't wait. I'm, I, I, I know this is going to be awesome. Look at that. Wow. Look at the different colour. Between Jasper's piece and yeah, look, there might be a little bit of uh, what's that word when they cross contamination happening <laughs> on the plate. He'll be right. He'll be right. Grass is always greener on the other side of the, the fence. Yeah, all plate, mate. Yep, yeah, you're right. Grass is always greener. You know where it's greener, Jasper? Where? Where you water it. Yep. Amazing, mm, it? so good, and so does that. Oh, where's yours? Oh, looking good. Why like is you, that young gold man. and this isn't? Daddy and I have got a little bit of curry powder in ours. Just in case you can curry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that salad, Katie. Let's do it. Righto. I'll just cover mine in Well done, Polly. Oh, thank you, Ronnie. <laughs> Mate, you're a legend. Thank you. So good. Well, the proof will be in the tasting, of course. Yeah, hopefully we haven't killed yeah. your fish. <laughs> no words. That doesn't happen often with Dad, does it? Good? It is the best tasting fish. Not only is it a fresh fish, but it's a South Australian fish. <laughs> and it is so delicious and you can go to the pubs here and it's quite an expensive fish to buy across as a counter meal or whatever you know we 
We were at Victoria Point the other day, yeah. and it was absolutely delicious. But it was still like it was a thirty-five dollar meal, and so to be able to have this caught straight out the front, the curry powder, absolute nailed it. Probably could do with a half a teaspoon opposed to a full teaspoon. Right. But we love our curry powder and the curry flavours. So, but you, we we might have gone a little heavy there. Righto. But this is absolutely delicious. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Yummy. Stop talking so I can eat, please. Why don't we put this recipe <laughs> as a you know a free download or put it in our e-news? Our e-news is free as well. You just all you have to do is just jump onto our website, feelgoodfamily.com, and then you can figure out how to get in touch and be a part of our community. But you will receive an awesome weekly e news that has these kind of things recipes, destinations, experiences that we absolutely can guarantee you'll love, and it's free. We'll never spam you. Awesome, love it. All Thank right. you. I need to eat. Ha. like Christmas. Hi. <laughs> What's going on, Just Rooney? Christmas decorate! How good is this? Look at this. We haven't got a lot because no. obviously we live in a van. We've got oh, like one hey, box. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, yeah. Got the reef up there. That's looking good. I think we might have to yeah, raise those. Hang those up. <laughs> How about hats? Hats, yeah. That's oh, a great whoa, hat. That's whoa. a great hat. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great hat. Sometimes in life you draw the short straw, don't you? I actually love my Little hat. Little bells. Yeah, Christmas <laughs> tree. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, if you can't have a Christmas tree, get a hat version. Oh, exactly. You just Although, wear it 24-7. We do have a tree. Look at that. That's kind of... <laughs> no, yeah, that's why it's a fake tree. Oh, and, is it? Yeah. It's small. <laughs> let's, let's see if it's bigger than me. Uh, oh. Yeah. Mate, I love your Christmas bow tie. That's pretty cool. I have a, I have another one which will be only for Christmas Day. Ah, okay. The special occasion. All right, well, let's get these awesome. decks up. All right, let's pick this guy up. Let's hang some lights so. and then figure out where da, 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 Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com. There you'll find loads of free resources, our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails. I guess when you buy the ocean, they can be called prawns, right?